Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dani and today I have a very big haul with unboxings. There's a lot going on and I'm going to try to do this a little bit differently because I want to film some of it right now. But I'm going to buy new books tomorrow that I don't even know which books they are going to be yet because tomorrow is Canadian Independent Bookstore Day. I think it's Independent Bookstore Day every, everywhere but there's an association in Canada specifically that is do, making this thing. Uh, so I'm going to an indie bookstore tomorrow to buy some books. And I'm also waiting for a few Lowe Crate, well one Lowe Crate and the Fairy Loot box to arrive. And there might be some things I pre-ordered in May. I don't remember. So there's just a lot throughout the month, like in the next few days or weeks that are coming around, that are going to be added to my bookshelf. So I'm going to do this in parts and let me know what you think about this. So the first part right now is going to be an Alcrate Junior unboxing. I have a very big stack there, but just the, the one on the top uh, I haven't opened yet. I also have an Alcrate special edition here to unbox. And I bought a bunch of books in just used bookstores in the last weekend. And there are other... Okay, there's a lot. I'm going to start from the beginning. Actually, that's wrong. I'm going to start with the things that I can reach because some of the stuff are high up on my bookshelf. So I'm going to start, let's start with the books that I bought at the used bookstore. Okay, so I, I bought two, three. <laughs> I bought three Dan Brown books. So I have uh, The Lost Symbol, Origin, and Digital Fortress. The first, those two are from the Da Vinci Code series. And this one is a standalone, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I've read the first two in the Da Vinci Code series <laughs> so long ago. And I do want to reread them and I want to read the whole series, so I'm getting I'm getting all the books as I go to use bookstores. I have books three, four, and five now. I'm just missing the first two. So I have this two and Digital Fortress I have not read, but my husband really liked it when he did, and I'm really curious to read this as well. I think Dan Brown is a really good, like quick read that's also very entertaining and keeps you wanting to turn the page. At least that's how I remembered when I read it so long ago. But those are the first three. And then I got The Fall by Guillermo del Toro and uh, Chuck Hogan. This is the second book in the Strain series trilogy. I'm not sure. It's about vampires. Uh, I had the first book that I also bought at a used bookstore a while ago. I have not read them. It's not high on my priority. But again, my husband is very interested in reading these books. So those are more for him than me. But I'm also curious about them. Uh, so we got this one. Then I got this weird paperback of Red uh, Red Seas and the Red Skies. This is by Scott Lynch. This is the second book in the Lies of Locke Lamora uh, series. The series is called Gentleman's ba Bastards. I haven't read the first book yet, but this was very cheap and it's a big paperback. It's not floppy at all, which annoys me a lot. Like I have to really crack the spine, which I don't mind cracking the spine, but floppy books are so nice to hold. But anyway, if I really like the first book, I already have the second one and then I'm just going to, if I really like both of them, I'll just try to focus on an edition, like acquiring editions that I really like of these books. I haven't said what this one is about. It's a fantasy series. I've heard it compared to like saying it's Six of Crows, uh, but adults. It's a high, the first one is a high story um, and I don't know much more about it. But I'm interested in it. Then I bought two Michael Crichton books. Uh, this one is Prey. I really want to read Jurassic Park by him and I would never find that in a used bookstore, I don't think. But I found two other books and they sound really interesting, especially this one. This one is about these nano robots who escaped from the laboratory and then now they're trying to destroy everyone because we are their prey. So I'm really curious about this book. Sounds really interesting. And also by him, I bought, uh, what's the name? Micro. This is about, I don't understand as exactly very well, but it's also a sci-fi and like there's stuff with microbiology and I think people get tiny because there's a person inside the ant there. Is this an ant? I don't know. Anyway, I'm curious to read his books because I don't know why I've never read any of his books, but I think I'm going to enjoy them. So I bought them very, very cheap to see if I am actually going to enjoy them. What else can I reach? Okay, 
This is an Alcrate special edition of Gallant by V. Schwab. As you might know, I have a code for Alcrate that you can get the subscriptions for Alcrate or Alcrate Junior for with 15% off. The code is current15. It's going to be on the description, but I also got the Gallant special edition. And if you've seen my review for Gallant, I didn't love it, but I like the idea of the book. I like, like I said, like the book doesn't have any plot, it's just about the vibes. And I think the vibes are interesting. I just wanted more of the plot. I'm still interested in rereading it at some point. So I have a special edition now. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Uh, I already opened it, so this is not exactly an unboxing, but I have everything that came in the box here. Uh, there is this uh, bookmark, wood, wooden bookmark, that says, I, I can shape death, but you can give it life. And it's really cool. I really love wooden bookmarks. It's very thin, which I like. Then we have the book. I didn't uh, rip the plastic off yet because I wanted to do this in the video. So let's see what it really looks like. Okay, so we have the signed book plate. The book's not signed. Signed has black sprayed edges, which I really like. The cover is very similar to the original one. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. I really like this. And then the end papers are also illustrated. I don't remember if the original one is, if the normal edition is. And the book itself is illustrated, but the normal editions also are. So this is really gorgeous and I really hope I can read this book in a moment that I'm really going to love it because it's th these are gorgeous editions. And it also came with two prints that say exactly the vibe of the book and they're gorgeous and I love them a lot. This is the first one. And this is the second one. I really love these illustrations and I want to put them like somewhere to display because they're really pretty. I just didn't love the book as much as I wanted to. Just so annoying. Now let's go to the Alcrate Junior box because again, that's what I could reach there. I'm really excited to open this. I've seen spoilers, so I really, that's why I wanted to film this video in parts. I didn't want to wait for everything to be here because I want to open this box. That's literally it. That's the only reason. So I've seen spoilers for the book, but not for the items of the box. Okay, lots of paper as usual. And the theme is Twisted Tales. So I'm expecting some sort of retelling. So I saw which book it is, but I didn't read what the book is about, so I don't know. So the first item is a fabric thing. What is this? Oh, it's a tote bag. This is so pretty. What does it say? <clears throat> it's a quote by New Gaiman. and it says, fairy tales are more than true. Not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten. I love this. This is really pretty and I think I should bring this to the indie bookstore tomorrow because like the aesthetic of going to an indie bookstore with a tote bag that has a quote by Neil Gaiman just feels right. I forgot to mention this, but if you don't know what Alcrate Junior is, it is a middle grade bo bookish box that comes with a middle grade book and a bunch of items curated for kids. Usually I like all the items as well. Sometimes one or another is more very specifically for kids, but I still can appreciate the idea of them. So let's see what else we have here. This is cool. Very candy scented. Four double-ended highlighters. And they smell like candy. See, this is the type of thing. This is very clearly curated for kids and I love it. I want to smell them. I was, I was looking for highlighters the other day and I couldn't find any. And now I have four. So one side is like this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And the other is more like the tip. Honestly, I cannot smell so much. Oh, the red one I can smell. This is so cool. They're super pretty. What else? The scissors are mine. I just they just fell. Oh, we have the second paperback of Clack Wall. The classic paperbacks are being sent on the YA well, Alcrate, not a middle grade. So this is just 
a second book for this box, which is Alice in Wonderland. And I, I love Alice in Wonderland. I have a copy of Alice in Wonderland. But this is really cool. I would guess it's illustrated by the same person, like the cover is uh, designed by the same person that did uh, the Frankenstein one. So it's going to look cool all together. No, I'm, I am wrong. This is not Outcrate like publishing. Like they are publishing classic books for the YA box. This is Puffing Chalk. So this is a Puffing, Penguin Puffing book. It's just an extra book in the box, which is really cool. And we have stickers and they're like puffy stickers. I love puffy stickers. We have another wooden bookmark, the Jumbies. If you don't trouble trouble, then trouble won't trouble you. I love that quote. I haven't read this book, but I've heard really cool things about it. And again, really love wooden bookmarks. And now we have the book. It is called The Mirror Wood by Deva Fagan. Oh, it has a cat in it. Can you see the character card? It has a cat in it. Okay, so this is the character card that comes in every Alcray Junior box this year. And in the back here it says, I was wearing my sister's face when the, on the night the hunters came to our cottage. That's creepy. Okay, so this book is about this girl who has been cursed. A twisted magic that the villagers call the blight. And it forces her to steal and wear the faces of others. Or risk oblivion. And then she has to go to this, person, this place called Mirrorwood. Uh, and free it from the demon prince who has ruled it for centuries with her cat. Her cat's called Moth, and I love it. I This sounds awesome. Look at this! This is gorgeous! They're sending amazing editions lately. And the, the reverse of the dust jacket has the cat in it, which is always just perfect. And the book's actually signed by the author. The author, the author letter is binded to the book as well, which is really cool. They should do that more often. It's probably hard to do that for every book, but it's a really cool addition to the actual book. And then we have the spoiler for the next month's Outgrade Junior, which is Schools of Wonder. And it's going to have a lot of really cool items from what I've seen on Instagram. And I'm really happy, I'm really excited to get that box. So like I said, I have more books to show you, more books that I have already bought, more books that I will buy tomorrow. So this video is going to continue. This is not the end, so I'll see you very soon. Hello, it's a few days after that first clip and I realized that I forgot to show you a few of the books that I already had, but I also have a huge pile here of new books. So like I mentioned on the previous clip, I went out the next day after that to buy some books because it was Canadian Independent Bookstore Day and I bought a lot of books, a lot of books. So you probably already saw that on Instagram if you follow me there. If not, the link is in the description so you can check it out so you already know some of the books that I bought, but there were more. It was not only those books that I got on that same day. But before I get to that, those books, I will show you what I couldn't grab on the other clip and I just have it here with me now. The first thing is very heavy. It's a whole set of nine volumes of Saga. Uh, this is a graphic novel, sci-fi, and it's very popular on booktube. I've started the first volume just uh, on my library to check if I would enjoy it, so I would then buy the full set. And I really did. It's really interesting. This is the cover of the first one. You may might have seen this around. And yes, so I bought the whole set, it's so heavy. It also came with some prints, like all the covers of each volume in a print format, which is really cool and pretty. And then the other thing that I bought before that, that I already had in the previous clip, was this other set. It's also heavy, oh my god. Uh, these are Jane Austen classics, all of her, I think all of her novels. I wouldn't be completely sure, but I've been wanting this for so long, and I haven't read any Jane Austen before yet. Uh, I started Pride and Prejudice a few weeks ago and I didn't even continue it, but I like this as a collection and they're just so pretty. Let me show you. So this is what they look in front and then like it's all like, I don't know how to say this, it's like printed in the thing and it's like, a, uh, it's, they call it flexi bound, so it's like a leathery, leathery kind of view 
to it. It's just really nice and I've been dying to get this set for a long time. So I finally have it and I definitely recommend if you've been thinking about getting this ones. They are bigger than I thought they would be. I thought it were like tiny books, but they are actually like larger format than I expected. So this was all that I had before and now we can go into the things that I bought just this weekend. Also before that even, uh, I have a new Alcray box to unbox for you. That's why I was, that's what I was waiting for to film the rest. The new Alcray, this is, I already showed you the Alcray Junior. This is the regular YA Alcray for what month are we even in? We're in May, so this is probably April's Alcray box. And I haven't seen any spoilers, so I'm very excited because I don't know if I know which book it is. I don't remember. So let's check Alcrate first and see what we have in this box. Oh, no paper. <laughs> it, when there's no paper in the box, it means that it's filled to the top with items. And I can already see the first one and I love it. Okay, so this is the spoiler card. I'm not gonna look at the at the things here, but the title is Peek Behind the Curtain. Oh, I think it's like a circus type of book. We'll see. And the first, and the first item that we have here is coffee from Bones Coffee. I received Bones Coffee before an I'll create and I loved it so much that I bought from their store multiple times already. So I'm so excited that they sent more Bones coffee. It's just like regular coffee, but with flavoring. I don't know if they have like just not non-flavored coffee because I didn't buy those. Like I, I specifically bought Bones coffee for the flavors. Uh, and this one is chocolate eclair. Oh, I need to smell it. It's perfect. It's awesome and I'm going to drink it today. I also have mugs from them. Uh, three, I have one, my husband has two. And we just really love their company and I, I, I learned about Bones Coffee from Outright, so it's really exciting. The next thing is, I think, the lug uh, yeah, the literary luggage pin. And it is Le Cirque de Have. I believe this is The Night Circus which is one of the type of books, like for Gallant, that I think I mentioned in the previous clip, I don't like the book, but I like the vibe. I like the idea of it. So I, yeah, I really love the, the way that it looks. I just didn't really like the book. And now we have, what is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Oh, this closes, okay. I still don't know what this is supposed to be. The Conquering Circus presents where the stage tells a story and legends of, are born. Spe spectacular. Is this a, the title of a book? I don't know what... Is this just like to put pencil? I don't... We'll see on the spoiler sheet because I really don't know what this item is supposed to be. And we have a box. Let's see what's in this box. For finding dreams that don't exist yet. Oh, nice. This is a wax and seal thing. This is really cool. I've never used any of this. Oh, I think I showed you upside down. It's like a little fox. It's so pretty and I've never used it. So, oh, this is really cool, really pretty. I love the colors also of the, of the wax. Awesome. Oh, okay. So this is the, the thing that is supposed to be with this thing. It is a popcorn holder, Spectac Spectacular Souvenir Popcorn Holder. So I think that's the name of a book. Okay, so you actually make popcorn in this. This is probably something very common that a lot of people have seen and used before. It's very new to me. So it says here that you scoop one and a half tablespoon of popcorn kernels into the holder, close the flaps of the holder completely, like I was trying to do there before. Uh, placing microwave and heat on high for approximately approximately uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds or until the popping stops. And then you have popcorn. This is, this is interesting. This is really cool. It's not a lot of popcorn. I would, would love it to be much bigger than this. But it's a cool thing to just like you pop, pop, you pop the popcorn uh, and it's already there. I, yeah, it's interesting. I, will, I like it more now. And now we have a big box. I don't know what this is. 
the circus arrives without warning. It says here on the back, so it's a Night Circus uh, item as well, inspired by Night Circus. And let's see what's in here. It's a clock! This is so cute! I really like this. Yeah. Okay, I moved the hands a little bit so you can see what they look like when they're separate. But this is really cool. I think it looks, it would look cool in the bookshelf. Just like put somewhere. I really like it. It's a very different item that I haven't seen. I haven't gotten in any box yet. And then we have this. Oh, it's just a mouse pad. Okay. It says outside things may be, outside things may be tragic. I think we're missing a comma here, maybe. Uh, but in here, we feel it's magic. I've heard this before. Where have I heard this before? We'll look at the spoiler sheet. But yeah, cool. I really like the design. I really like the aesthetic of this box. Uh, everything looks really cool and circusy without being too in your face. So I really like it. And I have the book. What is the name? Ho Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. Let me remove the plastic so we can see it better. We have the author letter here. And this is the cover. I really love it. I don't know what the original cover looks like, but this is really pretty. Let's see if there's any foiling. I wish Outcrate would do sprayed edges every time, but almost never see the sprayed edges, so like it's fine. Oh, this the end pages are really pretty. And like they're shiny. Oh, cool. Okay, so we have uh, the the reverse this jacket and the hardcover, which is printed. And it's not foiling, it's a very different thing, but I'll show you just the this jacket first. And this is what it looks like. It looks like hardcover books in Brazil, because in Brazil we don't use dust jackets, it's not a thing. Uh, it's very rare to get uh, hardcovers there, it's not the norm. The norm is paperback and then sometimes we get, the books get hardcovers and then there are hardcovers, they kind of look like this, but more illustrated than this. But still, this is really cool. I prefer the actual dust jacket cover of this. The book is signed, as always. And let's see what it is about. All her life, Jenny has dreamed of elsewhere. Bird is scraping by with a job at a tannery. She's resigned to their dreary life in the poor town of Dirk, caring for her young younger sister, uh, Souza. That is, until the legendary Hotel Magnifique appears in town. Hotel Magnifique is famous for its astonishing enchantment, especially its ability to travel the world, arriving at a new destination each midnight. Very similar to Night Circus. Jenny and Toza uh, seize their chance to join the hotel's staff, and they're soon swept up in a world of sparkling chandeliers and impossible magic. magic. But it's not long before Jenny discovers that beneath its marvelous glamour, the hotel is hiding dangerous secrets. So it it sounds a lot like Night Circus, but also it sounds more adventurous kind of thing. Like they're traveling, they're running away with the circus, which is kind of cool. So we'll see how I feel about this one. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't like Night Circus too much, but it was more because of the lack of plot. This feels like there's more of a plot. So we'll see how I feel about this when I get to it. And then we have the booklet thing and we can see the original cover. Oh, okay, maybe I like the original cover more. So the original cover is all pink and our crate cover is more bluish. I like the pink. It looks so, so pretty, so I won't miss the pink because I've not seen side by side like on my bookshelf, but the pink is really pretty as well. And then we have the spoiler for next month. The theme is The Chosen Ones. And it's going to come with an item from Blissfully Bookish. And now let's check the spoilers to see the stuff that I missed. Uh, the first thing is... The wa Wax Seal Kid is inspired by Once Upon a Broken Heart, which I have not read. Bone Scott... Oh, I forgot to say, but yeah, the Bone Scott uh, coffee <laughs> is uh, Phantom of the Opera, very clearly. The Wall Clock is a Night Circus. The popcorn holder is from is inspired by Where Dreams Descend, which I've read. I forgot the thing was called Spectacular, but I've read that book. The mouse pad is oh it's Moulin Rouge. Okay, that makes sense why I've I've heard of it. 
And then the literary luggage pin is Night Circus again. Oh, and the book glows in the dark. That's interesting. Okay, so that was April's Outcrate. Yes, that was April's Outcrate. And now we can go to the rest of the books that I bought. Just getting everything out of here because then I can take the thumbnail photo. Okay, so this is a pile of books that I got this weekend. It goes to the floor so you can see, you can't see the whole thing, but it's a lot. So let's start. The first one that I got, uh, I bought at the indie bookstore here in Montreal is Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. I am halfway through, kind of, of the book. I bought it and I started to read it immediately and I'm loving it. If you have the same taste of books than me, you might not enjoy this because this is very different from everything that I usually like. But I'm loving this so much. I'm just having the best time reading this and it really feels like it's a sea of tranquility. It's very calm, it's very chill, and I'm just really enjoying it. So that was one of the books that I bought and it's already a success. Then I also got A Sound for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. I haven't read any Becky Chambers. I do still want to read the Wayf Wayfarers uh, series, uh, the one that starts with The Long Way to Small Ang Angry Planet, but I wanted to get this one because the second book's coming out, so I wanted to see if I like it. And if you know me, you know that I really love short paper, uh, hardcovers. I think they're just the cutest thing ever. So I wanted to get this book and I'm hoping to read it really, really soon. And then I also got The Justice of Kings by Richard Swan. This is an adult fantasy about... I don't know what it is about. It's about th this man... Well, I'm pointing at him because I, I assume that's him in the cover. Uh, he is like a detective but also the executioner and he's trying to find something that went wrong in the kingdom. I don't know. I'll read it and I'll let you know. I was really in the mood for adult fantasy and I wanted to like hold the hardcover big adult fantasy, start a new series with it. So I went with this one and I'm really excited for it. Then on Saturday I also received The Sender. This is a graphic novel that was so, so kindly gifted to me by Kelsey from Reading with Kelsey. It just arrived at my doorstep. I wasn't expecting it and it was just the best feeling ever. I appreciate it so much. Thank you again. I, I love it. Uh, this was on my wish list, so I'm really interested in reading it. Uh, it's a sci-fi graphic novel that I've heard amazing things about and she said that she loved it as well. So I'm so excited to read this. I'll also read this very, very soon. Then I have an arc. Uh, this is Reluctant, Reluctant Immortals by Gwendolyn Kist. Uh, it's just really hard to say everything. Look at this cover. Isn't it the most amazing thing ever? So I'm going to read here uh, what sold me on this book. It says that it's for fans of Mexican Gothic and it's a novel inspired by the untold stories of forgotten women in classic literature. From Lucy, Lucy, West, <laughs> from Lucy Westnera, a victim of Stro Stoker's Dracula, and Bertha Mason, Mr. Ro Rochester's ethic-bound wife in Charlotte Brown's Jane Eyre. So it's about forgotten women in horror literature, which is super cool. I love Dracula, it's one of my favorite books, one of, uh, one of the classics that I really love. So I was really excited and just the cover just sold me completely. I can't wait to read this book. And then I also bought My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Grant Jones. Uh, this is a horror about a woman I forgot. Let me see. It says that it's an homage to slasher films that also manages to defy and transcend genre. So it's a high school senior girl who is really in love. She loves slasher movies and some stuff starts happening in her hometown and she starts to investigate the thing because she knows that it's very similar to a slasher movie. So we want to figure out what's happening here. So it is a horror but it's also humor humorous. The only thing that I've read from Stephen Graham Jones is a short story, uh, The Night of the Mannequins, which is pretty much that, it's like a horror with humorous tone. And I really enjoyed that, so I'm really excited to read this one. And if I like it, I already have the arc for the sequel, which is Don't Fear the Ripper. Uh, again, same author. I won't read the synopsis of this one because it might spoil the first book, but it's in the list to read. And by the same author, I bought The Only Good Indians. I'm just very interested in his other works because I really like the short story that I read. And this is specifically, I was interested because I just recently watched Antlers and it is about, it is a horror movie about this antler type monster, 
this monster that has antlers, basically. And this is just a big antler on the cover, and I was just in the vibe for it, in the mood for this type of story. I don't know if it has anything to do with that monster, but it is here, and I'll see how I feel about it. Then I also bought Witchmark by C.L. Polk. Like I said, it was Canadian Independent Bookstore Day, so I bought. I wanted to buy Canadian books by Canadian authors, uh, and C.L. Polk is a Canadian author. Uh, and Witchmark is a fantasy, but more like a steampunk kind of fantasy. So at the bookstore, I was asking for recommendations, and one of the owners said that it's a gas lamp fantasy. So from what I understood, it's more like it's a steampunk, but based on magic. So it's magic that is creating the things that like feel like steampunk in the novel. So I'm very curious. The whole trilogy is out, so if I like it, I can go and grab the whole the rest of the series, and we'll see how it goes. It's also a queer book. It won a uh, world fantasy world war, world fantasy award. That was hard to say. So I'm really excited for it. And I also have an arc for Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. She's the author of This Violent Delights, uh, which was a fantasy book. There's also another This Violent Delights that I own, but th that was. It's a YA fantasy, uh, and this one is again a YA fantasy, if I'm not wrong, I'm not sure if it's adult or, or YA, I think it's YA. And as it says here, four years ago, Rosalind Lang was brought back from the brink of death, but the strange experiment that saved her also stopped her from sleeping and aging, and allows her to heal from any wound. In short, Rosalind cannot die. Now, desperate for redemption from her traitors in the past, for her, from her traitorous past, uh, she uses her abilities as an assassin for her country. Codename Fortune. Sounds really cool. And then, on the same day that I went to that bookstore, uh, we stopped for brunch at a cute little cafe, and there was a used bookstore right next to it. So I had to go. Like, it was right there. And guess what I found? I just completed the whole Robert Langdon series at used bookstore. So I found all five books in this series at different used bookstores in Montreal and around Montreal, uh, just all of them, all hardcover books of the series. So I got Angels and Demons and The Da Vinci Code, which was were the two ones that I was missing. So I have every, every book now, I have all of them. So now I can start rereading the series. I've read, these are the two ones that I've already read. I think I've already said that, but <laughs> these are the ones that I've already read, uh, but I need to reread it because I don't remember anything. But I'm excited, okay, I'm going to be able to finish the series, finally. And the last book, I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. So, it turns out that I took too long to edit this video, so I have a new book to haul in this video, uh, which is the Fairy Loot Adult book that I said, maybe already, that I wasn't going to put on this video because it's going to take too long to arrive, but it is here, so let's see what book it is. I think I remember what book it's supposed to be, but I... not sure. So, and we have paper. Honestly, this paper doesn't make any difference to protect the book, so might as well not have it. Okay, so the theme was Divine Power, and let's check the book. I have no idea what it looks like. I know what the original cover is, but unless I'm wrong about which book it is. Let me get rid of this paper. Okay, here's a bag. This is a really big book, which I'm very excited about because I mentioned um, not so long ago on my Twitter that I was really in the mood to read some adult fantasy like in hardcover, and this is obviously an adult fantasy in hardcover, so I'm very excited. And it is with black, it has black sprayed edges. And the book, I don't know if I'm opening this right. Let's try this way. No. <laughs> City of Dusk by Tara Sim. Okay, this is the one that I thought it was going to be. It doesn't show very well on camera, unfortunately, but the background is very pretty. So just black sprayed edges, no stencils, which is weird. I thought Fairy Loot always did stenciled edges, but it's fine. This, the end papers are very pretty. And there's foiling in the hardcover. And there's also a ribbon, which is really nice. It's very thin, but it's really nice. And it is signed by the author, of course. Well, I don't, I say of course, but I don't know if it's 
supposed to, like all of them are supposed to be signed, but this one is signed. So the story of the City of Dusk is the four realms, life, death, light, and darkness all converge on the City of Dusk, ruled by the four noble houses of Nexus. But the gods have withdrawn their favor from the once vibrant and thriving city, and without it, all the realms are dying. Unwilling to stand by and watch the destruction, the destruction of the four reigns, unwilling to stand by and watch the destruction of the four heirs, Risha, a necromancer struggling to keep the peace, Angelica, an, an ele elementalist uh, with her eyes set on the throne, Thaisia, a shadow wielding rogue with rebellion in her heart, and Nick, a soldier who struggles to see the light, will sacrifice everything to save the sea, but their defiance will cost them dearly. Okay, it sounds interesting. It doesn't sound necessarily very unique, just like a group of very different characters bending together to do something, which I usually like. So it, I bet I will really enjoy this book, and I'm very excited about how chunky it is. It has 548 pages, and there are a lot of blank pages in the back. I don't understand why, like a lot. But this is it. This is the last book on this haul. I don't know when this clip is coming, so there there will be something here after this, but as th in terms of when I received the books, this is the last book on this haul. But the last book I got in the same used bookstore that I got, that I found the last two Dan Brown books, I found Night Film by Marisha Passo. I've been recommending this book so much, and I'm very curious to read it. I don't know what the plot is, but I know it it has like some mixed media stuff so we'll see i also got a bookmark at the store so i'm really excited to read this book i know it's a thriller and everyone loves it that's all i know about it and the mixed media stuff so i think i think that's it let me know what you thought of this style of haul just like splitting it in clips because i might just do that and it's like every time i have new books to show i'll film a clip and then put it all together at the end of the month or at the end of like two months and then have a haul to show you because this feels better than just like doing tiny hauls. Let me know what you think. And also let me know what's the most exciting book that I showed you, what you're more interested for me to read, what have you read from this that you think I'm going to enjoy. Just tell me your thoughts about all of these books. And inspired by which mark, if you've watched this video until the end, leave a bicycle emoji in the comments. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and thank you so much for joining me. Bye!